So what are Amish weddings like? Someone said to me the other day, aren't Amish weddings just kind of like any other normal day? The answer is no. This day is a big deal. So let's dive in. These weddings will last from 8 a.m. in the morning until midnight that night. So the, the main wedding is going to be happening at the parents' house of the daughter. So let's say I was getting married, it would be happening at my parents' house. But the ceremony is gonna happen at the closest Amish neighbor. So it's kind of like a church service. So around 8 a.m. is when things start there. And they have, you know, three, four hour service there. And then they get married. And, you know, the, the bishop of the church marries them. And then after that, the entire congregation will go back to the the girl's house so it would be like my parents house and this is where everything happens from there on so while the ceremony is happening the women of the family the cousins the aunts they're at my parents house preparing the food for two three four hundred people that are gonna be there so they're cooking all you know the delicious Amish wedding food which i'm just going to tell you right now some of the best food that you'll ever have my favorite amish food is actually the stuffing or dressing some people call it stuffing some people call it dressing but it's what the one that they specifically make for the amish weddings so they'll make like fried chicken they'll make from scratch dressing mashed potatoes the mashed potatoes will have the brown butter on it which is absolutely delicious and then there's gravy and then <clears throat> there's you know all kinds of dessert stuff too and pies and cookies and cakes and all the things so once the ceremony ends the entire congregation goes to the parents house where the, of the daughter everybody has lunch so they'll feed you know however many hundred people that are there and they'll, they'll have lunch. And then after lunch, what the congregation, mostly men, some women too, but mostly men, they'll sit around the tables and um, sing hymns from their hymn books, which I actually have one. And they'll sing hymns for a few hours in the afternoon. And then the people that are the couple that got married and they have what what are called um they're called site sitters or but in the modern world we call it like maid of honor and bridesmaids but in the amish community they're called site sitters and if you understand dutch they're called nebahuckles and they'll go around pass around um like candy bars and suckers i think to the people that are pre uh, preparing the food. So that happens in the afternoon. And then uh, it's kind of like some kind of downtime. Some people will leave and go home because they got to go do the, the evening chores. So not everybody stays for dinner, but a good part of the crowd will stay for dinner. So then in the afternoon, all the women in the kitchen are starting to prepare the food for dinner and dinner can be like you you might have like noodles and honestly i don't really know what they all have and some some of the stuff is leftovers but they'll have noodles and then some kind of like meat i don't know if it's ham or what it is and obviously like they have fruit and dessert again but it's usually like leftover dessert and then they also they actually do have a wedding cake and the wedding cake gets placed in front of the couple that got married and then they like cut it and i actually don't remember the entire process of that but with that being said there is a wedding cake and there's very specific um ways that they set that every every single wedding there's very specific ways that they set up the tables in their living room 
for the meals that they're going to be having, the people to sit around. Uh, and on the one side is always going to be the men and the other side is always going to be the women. So they like face each other. So it's always going to be like that. Or they might have the one section, uh, so one side of the living room might be all men and then the other side might be all women. I think it kind of varies. And then they have something called centerpieces. And this was sometimes a giveaway where people would try to figure out whether or not someone was, you know, planning on getting married is they would take the mason jars or centerpiece, even just like flower, flower, bouquet flower uh, centerpieces, and they put celery in there. And that was their centerpiece. So if they saw a family that one summer, they grew lots and lots of celery, that was kind of like a clue like, oh, Lizzie might be getting married in the winter and they only get where I'm from <clears throat> because we didn't have electricity to keep our food cold. We could only get married in the winter because in the summer, there's no way that they can keep the food cold like they need to for a big crowd of people like that. So you, you only got married in the winter. So in the summer, we would grow celery for the centerpieces <laughs> of the wedding. And that sometimes was a giveaway. So anyway, everybody has dinner and then after dinner, um, a lot of the married adults will leave and go home and the young kids, like they go home after dinner is when the dating shenanigans happen. This is for the people that are in the dating world and they do their own kind of thing that in the evening up until midnight. So. They, I don't have enough time to go into all the details of what they do, but uh, <laughs> I'll have to make a second video on this, but they, but they have their own type of stuff that they do. And at midnight, then uh, every, every single one of them at midnight, they go in pairs. So you get paired up for example, if it was me, I would get paired up with a guy and at midnight, um, we would walk into the living room again at the table, sit around the tables uh, that were already there and then sing like three hymns. And then that was the finale of the wedding. This video is gonna have to be continued on because there are things that happen the following day that are very specific. But also after dinner is when the married couple and the, and the kids or the people that were the sight sitters um, they all go to a room up one of the bedrooms upstairs, hang out there and, and, um, have this whole process in place where everybody that, you know, is at the wedding, they bring them gifts. So they bring them the gift, they unwrap it. And the maid of honor is taking notes, you know, writing down like who brought what they have the entire system down. So they do do gifts for that. That happens between dinner and midnight. And then after the unwrapping of the gifts happen, then they go into the rest of the shenanigans <laughs> for the dating people. And I will have to make another video for that one. So there you go. That's the overview of a Swartz and Truber Amish wedding.